Hello, welcome to the Ironclad Circle channel. My name is Bill. Today we're going to be talking about the tortoise and the hare. Okay, hopefully you've heard of Aesop's fable of the tortoise and the hare. And uh, I've been hearing this reference a lot lately, and uh, so I was wondering, does the tortoise really beat the hare? And uh, is the point of that story really slow and steady wins the race? Because I've heard it a lot lately. It's, it's one of those things, like when you start paying attention to something, you start seeing it everywhere. And so I've even heard it on newscasts and stuff just as comments from uh, people on the news. And uh, I don't think that that's actually the point of that story. I think it's been repeated so many times that people just keep saying it. So if you look up Aesop's Fables, you can actually see that the last line of that story is the race does not always go to the swift. This is quite a different thing than slow and steady wins the race. In fact, I think the real point of this story is don't be a prick like the hare. Because in the story, they start off together, the hare takes off at full speed, the tortoise is, tortoise is going as fast as he can. At some point, the tortoise wants to take a nap by the side of the road, wait for the tortoise to catch up, and then finish the race. So what the hare was really doing is trying to humiliate the tortoise. So... <laughs> I don't think that this point is slow and steady wins the race. I think the point is don't be a prick. Don't be an egotist. Okay, so what does this have to do with prepping? Here's what it has to do with. You see, you've seen those prepper shows and where the people have, you know, a helicopter and a tank and bunkers and lots of land and millions of dollars in assets to spend on building a castle or whatever they're going to do. And, you know, sometimes it can feel like, wow, I'm never going to be able to do that. I mean, how am I ever going to compete with somebody with that kind of preparation? Well, you don't have to, okay? And my tortoise in the air is not a perfect analogy, mainly because there's no race. We don't, and if there is a race, we don't know where the finish line is. So the truth of the matter is this. That person who has all of those crazy amounts of preps and you have your small amount that you've been working on. That person in that, with all the gear and with all the preparation might be in a worse off situation with you just based off geographical location. The thing is, none of us can predict what exactly is going to happen. There's a lot of different disasters that could happen and send us into a apocalyptic type of scenario. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just the nature of the beast. So we do our best and try to prep to the best of our ability, like the tortoise. See, the tortoise wasn't going slow. The tortoise was going as fast as the tortoise could go. He was going to the best of his ability. And that's what we need to be doing as well. Now, most people don't have the resources of, if we're gonna turn this, I'm gonna keep going with this analogy, okay? So if you, the hare, and uh, if you don't have the resources of the hare, in this case, in the story it would be his physical abilities compared to the tortoises, but we're gonna use money as, as what those are representing. If you're the tortoise, you know, you can do, if you, if you plan and be smart, you can build up quite a kit from garage sales, dollar stores, thrift stores, all these kind of things. And my only word of caution on that is, you know, a big pile of junk is not worth one good piece of equipment. And if you've ever been out in the field, you already know this. You know, you can buy a cheap axe and you hammer it on something and the head goes flying off or the, the handle cracks or a knife, same thing, if it's not a full tang knife and it breaks. You know, you're, you have a whole new problem there because now you got to figure out how you're going to attach this blade to something and you're just one step back from where you started. So it is worth it to save up a little money and get that one good piece of equipment rather than some really cheap things, especially on key items like uh, knives and, you know, anything really important like that. So, so that's the thing. You can be the tortoise and still prep really, really well. Okay, this is going to be a really short video. So what's the takeaway from Aesop's Fable? Um, I would say it's be humble, do your best, do the best of your ability, keep moving forward, keep prepping yourself to be able to protect yourself, your friends, your family, and, and don't worry about what other people are doing. Just do your best. Gain the skills, gain the knowledge. That stuff is available for free. I mean, there's lots of YouTube channels that show really skillful people with 
some fire starting a shelter building and um, you know I watch them and I learn from them too and uh, there's books there's tons of books some are available at the library uh, the SAS handbook is a great one and uh, there's a few others but so let's be honest the hare would have smoked the turtle in that race a hundred out of a hundred times if he wasn't being egotistical if he wasn't wanting to humiliate uh, the tortoise and uh, so it's a good lesson but slow and steady isn't the point the point is be humble do your best help others and stay prepared thanks for watching